today we are going to discuss the topic is how to open subtab in sansor application from visual post page let's see what we are going to discuss here here we are going to discuss how to open tab in sansor the scenario is here design a visual post page which should show the list of accounts when a user clicks on any account it should open account in a primary tab and it should open recently modified open case and recently modified contact in sub tab this is the requirement or this is the scenario how you can do that so in real time if someone asks you that this individual post page i have different uh, uh, records i want to open related records in sub tabs when you click on that when you click on uh, for example in our example when you click on account so this example will be helpful here you are going to learn mainly about how to open records in sub tabs and a primary tab that is important thing okay let's see so what i am trying to do here so i have designed a visual post page and created a tab accounts page tab so when i click on any account here then i want to open the account in a primary tab and open a last modified case and last modified contact in sub tab this is our scenario i want to show output first then i'll explain what it is and how it is okay so i'm clicking on nava foundation clicking click on it and it opens account as a primary tab and recently modified case this is 1614 and tarunya this is a contact recently modified so if you open account so i'm going to let's see here account see here nava foundation click on nava foundation and here you have different contact tarunya nava foundation and three and you have different cases also last modified case is 1614 that's why i am able to open this from our visual post and karunya is last modified contact now i'm closing this again i'm going to open our accounts page so when you click on nava foundation it should open nava foundation account in a primary tab and it should open recently modified case and a contact in different tabs see it opened nava foundation this is the account and case details and karunya is a contact details this is how it works then let's go to our accounts page if you observe here this is very simple visual post page and we already have this example in our uh, a series of visual post playlist there you can find out how to display list of records this is what we are doing here nothing else and just for displaying records you just need to query the account and you just go you just need to use page block table to show that list of records right it may be page block table it may be data table it may be a repeater whatever it may be right now for this example i am using page block table i'll show you the code here the simple thing is we are just displaying account only main thing what we have to learn here how to open tabs primary tab and sub tab in console application that is important thing let's see so if you observe here this is the visual post page i open custom controller also see here i i have only simple query select id name type industry from account where industry not equals null and type not equals null i'm just retrieving the account and holding in account, account list and we are using this account list for displaying the accounts in page block table now if you see here when someone clicks on account in visual post i'm going to invoke this method what it does it is going to 
select or it is going to retrieve the last modified contact and last modified key. If it is there, I'm using different properties to hold or to capture the contact name, contact ID, contact case ID, case number. Okay, these properties we are going to use to open subtab. Okay, not for opening subtab, to label the subtab and to pass the IDs for subtab. Okay, let's see how it helps. Contact name, contact ID, case ID, case number. Okay, these are all the properties. These are all simple queries. And now, this is just the FX controller. You are just retrieving what you need. Now, let's talk about how you can open subtabs and primary tab. The first thing is, <coughs> When you want to open subtabs or primary tabs through Visual Code page, then you have to include this JavaScript library. Okay, that is support console integration dot C by using include script tab. This is our Salesforce library. Okay, for or to work with a console application, when you want to customize this tabs or when you want to open primary tabs, different kind of things you have, then you have to use this library. Now we are talking about opening the tabs. So if you observe here, column, header value, account name, and here I'm using the command link. I'm passing account ID and account name by using param tag along with that Invoking retrieve re uh, retrieve recent records. This is what I explained just now. Okay, and based on this current account ID, we retrieve recent contact and recent case list. Once done, on complete, on complete. That means after completing this session, on complete, I am calling open tabs one method. There, I am passing our parameters or uh, our uh, Properties which we defined in Apex class. This is our account, current account name, current account ID, along with that case number, contact name, case ID, contact ID. This is how I am sending parameters. You can send in different way also. Here I am just uh, taking simple JavaScript method for passing different attributes. Okay. And now our main motive is how to do this. Or how to open primary tab or sub tab. Okay, so for that I am just passing the necessary properties. Okay, case ID, contact ID, and account name, account ID, this kind of things. And now, if you go to this open tabs one here, here I am using s force dot console dot open primary tab. This is a built-in method. How you can use this built-in method? And to open this built-in method, you have to include your JavaScript library. This is integration.js library. Then only you can use this method, open primary tab, open sub tab. So in open primary tab, you have different parameters. Like this. Okay, let me show you what it is. If you want to go through this, you can see. So first parameter is ID string, ID of the primary tab which you have and URL. Okay, and active boolean. So to make this focus, tab label and callback function. If you want to call any function or any JavaScript function once it opens, optional name. Okay, so you have explanation for each and every attribute. You can have a look here. I will give you this reference under the video description. And for open sub tab also, you have different parameters. Now let's go to our code. See here, sports.console.open primary tab null because I don't have any primary tab here. I want to open this account account record itself as a primary tab. Now see here slash account ID. This is URL of your record. It automatically opens in a primary tab. True, it will be focused. What is focused here? This is the one. This, this is how it does. That means it opens our tab and it focuses. 
along with that account name with the tab tab label name like and open contact one this is another method okay what you are doing you are calling this callback method from this open primary tab what is going to happen here so when you call this method from this you can get the id which id it is it is going to get the primary tab id in our case what is primary tab id here what is primary tab our account record this is the one so when you call this function through callback function what is going to happen from this result you will get the primary tab id it's not account record id primary tab id okay once it gets you you can open remaining record in sub tab okay so here you have open sub tab primary tab id whatever you got through callback function and case id simply you want to open case in sub tab that's why you are passing the case record id slash it is case url you can say true and case number is the tab label same way for contact also if you have contact you can do like this so you are passing the same primary id the same primary tab id and you are passing case id contact id to open this contact and case record in sub tab this is how it works okay